Today we're in Harlem to talk to a style and beauty content creator about how we can rock our wardrobe with more color and confidence. Well, Tanika, I have to say that I am so pumped to be doing this segment with you because I am a huge fan of your work. So first of all, tell us where we are. It's a beautiful space. This is Jelly Din's Beauty Bar here in Harlem. It is a black owned beauty bar. And every time I'm here, I feel like I'm home. So it was only natural that I brought you to a place that I always frequent and love. And you know, speaking of beauty, I mean, you are a style and beauty content creator, but you actually have a background in nonprofit. Yeah, so um, for 14 years, I like dedicated my life to social justice and domestic policy. I worked in the Obama administration, and most recently I worked as the chief of staff at Color of Change, a racial justice organization, and then I just left my role at the ACLU leading our national organizing team, and that work was great, but you know, it was stressful. And you have been incredibly successful, which comes as no surprise because your content is a breath of fresh air and it is so colorful. So tell us how you developed this colorful style. I think it just came naturally. I think growing up in a black home, we always really centered color and fabric and print. And I think that's true of so many ethnic communities. And so for me, I think so much of what I'm trying to communicate online is to really invite women into a life of color. It's so important. And I think so many people are interested in it because they want to do it, but they just don't know how. Well, on that note, I am super excited because for the uninitiated, you were going to be giving tips as to how they can incorporate more color into their wardrobes. So let's get to it. Let's do it. Well, Tanika, the moment is here. You're gonna share some quick and dirty tips for how we can live more colorful lives via our wardrobe. What are they? I think it's actually really simple. Um, first and foremost, I always tell people, what is your favorite color other than black? And try to figure out ways to incorporate that into your wardrobe. I think one of the easiest ways to do that is to start with a bag or some shoes, an easy, quick pop of color. A beret. A beret, I love a beret, that is super beautiful. And you just, you know, start to experiment in that way. I think another way I tell women, when you want to take risks, you should start at home. So think about some of the colors that you want to wear and you can start at home and figure out what works best for your like complexion, what colors make you feel well, and also using makeup. You know, adding very colorful makeup, experimenting with your lips, maybe you always go for a neutral lip, adding a pop of red, I think really enhances your complexion, and it also helps you feel more comfortable with color. Well, Tanika, thank you so much for talking to us about color. I look forward to seeing more of your content. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you for coming to Harlem, yeah. to Jolie Dins. This is great. Thank you so much.